repeat himself. I had this problem my whole career where I would do press, and my I went through publicists because they would I was difficult for them, you know, because yeah. they would say, John, just answer the question the same way. And my brain, even to this day as a musician, works like if it's already happened, it can't be done again. And so I I would keep answering the question in an increasingly more abs- esoteric way until you get to your fiftieth person, and now you're beginning so far beyond the buoys that you just get in trouble because you don't want to say the same thing. And then you see someone like Lady Gaga who does what publicists have been asking for years to do, and they make a supercut of her saying the same thing all around the world, (laughs) and they make fun of her for it. So just that alone, right? Look at that as the microcosm of like, okay, what's the right way to do it? Be safe and boring or interesting and possibly lose everything. So what, what other game in the world, if you win, they chuckle, and if you lose, you will die. <laughs> it's the weirdest set of it's consequences. Crazy. It's crazy. It's so cutthroat right now. I don't tweet jokes anymore. It's not safe no, space. No, but this is, this is the, lo- the, the longest form communication I've ever had with people in the last few years. I don't really do interviews. Right. The Instagram captions are a couple sentences. Right. I don't do Twitter anymore. So I was kind of interested to do this because... At a certain point, you can play it so safe that your own fans don't know how you feel about things. Yeah. 